Hi, we're Donna High School, and today we're going to talk to you about synthetic marijuana and some of the effect it has on athletes. I'll be your speaker, Luis Lia, my trainers that help are Ashley Castillo, Aisha Cortez, and Erica Peña. Now today we're going to talk about what synthetic marijuana does to the athlete on and off field, where it is and what it came from, uh, how most athletes use it, some of the controversies behind it, and statistics on this drug. Now some of the effects are major or minor agitation, uh, high blood pressure, fast racing heartbeat, vomiting, seizures, muscle spasm, psychotic episodes with intense hallucinations, suicidal thoughts, and sometimes death is the final cause. Now synthetic marijuana is a mixture of herbs and cannabis that give you that high feeling. It sometimes causes synthetic weed, K2, and spice. Now it's similar to actual marijuana, but it is much more potent, legalized in most states, and won't show up on a drug test. Now, synthetic marijuana takes on the appearance of actual marijuana, but it comes in many different types of packaging. It sometimes comes with markers that mark them differently, like gold, blonde, diamond, or Scooby Snacks. Now, synthetic marijuana was created by Dr. Richard Huffman in 1997 in the lab. It was meant for research purposes only, however, the drug ended up getting known publicly, and people started taking it and using it for their own personal abuse. Now, some of the short-term effects are nausea, high blood pressure, accelerated heartbeat, and muscle twitching, but some of the long-term effects are conscious paranoia, psychotic episodes, and harmful effects to the cardiovascular system, organ failure that could lead up to death. Now, an athlete might want to use it, especially teens, because it gives off the same feeling as weed, but it's considered safer. They, uh, they believe it's safer on the lungs, and that it won't show up on a drug test. Now, some of the statistics on this drug is that between 2010 and 2011, the call rate for Point Control Center went up 4,000. Now, it's the second most used drug used by high schoolers, and one-third of the pe people sent to the ER for it were between the age of 12 to 17. Now, people treated for it found that 59% of all people had it in 2010 in their system. Now, statistics show that it is single-handedly becoming more and more abused than actual illegal drugs, drugs itself. Now, synthetic marijuana is becoming a bigger and bigger problem in this short period of time. Within three years, call rate for synthetic marijuana went from 109 to over 6,000. Now, the problem is that it's costing many people's lives. Among them are athletes, such as Lamar Jack here. He had collapsed during basketball practice and complained of cramps and vision problems. After he died, the autopsy revealed that he had JWH018 in his system, a chemical used to make synthetic marijuana. Now, the cost of the usage is known, not only cost lives, but also cost people their possible future, such as LSU player Tyrone Matthew. He was caught, he was tested positive for synthetic marijuana and was banned for a couple of games for its usage. Now, there is a lot of controversy over the drug, but the biggest one is that it is legal. The effects are said to be stronger than marijuana and can be compared to the levels of heroin. Yet, it is being sold at your local corner store right next to Bubblegum and Skittles. Now, parents are starting to take notice of it, but the companies that actually produce this are saying that the effects and dangers are only minimal. But it's becoming clear and clear that synthetic marijuana is dangerous and should be taken more seriously. Now, after six years of it being legal, the government decided to step in and try to stop this harmful drug. In July 2012, President Barack Obama signed a legislative banning all synthetic drugs. The law bans harmful chemicals inside the synthetic drugs, not the drugs themselves, such as JWH0108, a chemical used to create synthetic marijuana. Now, the law bans it, but we can only hope that is enough to stop it. A recent toll was when 17-year-old Emily Barry purchased synthetic marijuana at a local gas station. This led to a psychotic episode in which she tried to hurt herself, and when doctors finally got her in a coma, they found that 70% of her brain was actually dead. Now, in conclusion, synthetic marijuana is an overlooked drug problem here in America, and more and more people are starting to get into it. The death toll is rising, and it is affecting the players' ability to play at full potential, but also taking their lives. Thank you for listening.